Okay, here's a real neat piece I just picked up uh, recently on eBay. This is a reciprocating electric motor. Probably dates from 1850 or earlier. Uh, this was, I believe, made by a man named Dan Daniel Davis out of Boston. Um, his company manufactured uh, science uh, apparatus pieces, um, many different electrical type of things, and uh, a lot of different electric motors to uh, demonstrate electromagnetism and stuff like that, which was pretty... Uh, new thing back then. So we're talking uh, approximately 170 years ago. This uh, showed up on eBay and uh, I managed to uh, make a deal on it and um, it was pretty ugly when I got it. The uh, connecting rod was uh, mangled up. Everything you see that is silver was black uh, I believe that's nickel silver plating. I cleaned everything with vinegar and uh, it shined up pretty good. Uh, it's still not perfect, but uh, still has the green finish on the coils. The uh, magnet cores were actually uh, kind of a reddish orange. Um, underneath some of that paint still remains. Um, It had, where these holes are in the base, there was a bell ringing mechanism. There was a little uh, finger, like a wire finger that worked off the side of this armature here. There's a little hole there. And it moved uh, a gear wheel, similar to a clock escapement. And every stroke of that armature would move that gear a tooth and I believe it had another wheel on the other end that would um, pull back a, a striker for a bell and uh, eventually it would slip off the striker and the striker would hit the bell. So I'm not sure what the purpose of that was, maybe just to make it a little more interesting, but um, don't know if I'll ever find those pieces, but who knows. Um, this thing was found at a yard sale, and I've been in contact with the, uh, the seller quite a bit that I bought it from, and they told me that they were going to contact the person from the yard sale to see if those parts could be found, because they, they don't look like they've been removed too long ago. So... Keeping my fingers crossed on that. And it's pretty basic how it runs. It has two brushes here, and there's one contact on the crankshaft that alternates between each brush, and that would, when it hits one brush or the other, it energizes one set of coils or the other. And the other part of the circuit is through the crankshaft bearing there, that's the ground. And I've got it running on a dummy dry cell here. There's actually two D cell batteries inside of that. Now if you put six volts to this thing, it'll really sing. But it throws a lot of arcs at the brushes and it's not very good for them. So <clears throat> one and a half volts uh, works just fine. Runs it nice and slow. The crankshaft was also severely bent when I got it, and the flywheel was all bent, warped out of shape. Fortunately, all that stuff was soft enough, I was able to straighten it pretty easy. It's interesting, I'm not going to lift it up now, but underneath on the base, all the nuts on the bottoms of these uh, little standoffs and stuff that are these turnings on there, the nuts are all handmade. They're all irregular shaped. Um, threads are pretty crude. It's very obvious that this is a very early piece. 
I feel very fortunate to have found it. So, well, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.